Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, before going into the tutorial, I want to explain the reason why I'm doing this. And uh, normally I use Wirecast. Here we're in OBS Studio. And I try to, if I'm just doing a regular talking head video like I am now, um, I usually try to where I don't have to constantly edit it for each thing because I try to make it as quick as possible. And uh, before I, I've had, I have mixed lighting and it really exposure problems, uh, uh, color temperature, white balance. So um, I wanted to be able to put a LUT so I could just use straight from the camera and record and put a LUT on top of this. Now Wirecast uh, I don't think does it, but OBS Studio does. But you have to, uh, their LUTs are in PNG. So you actually got to take a Q file, some editing, and then put it in GIMP and then all that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, the first step uh, to uh, making your LUT for OBS Studio is um, use your favorite editor of choice where you can export some of your settings as a LUT. And uh, I know DaVinci Resolve can do it easy. And in this case, Final Cut uh, Pro 10, which I'm using now. And of course, I think Premiere Pro, you should be able to do it as well. Um, and here I've got this video edited. This is on another video and I actually worked a lot on this to get a, a LUT that I really liked and then um, I actually exported this already um, export as a LUT and then you save it to whatever folder you want to um, and because we're going to open it up in GIMP and apply that to the original .png which I'm going to show you and then uh, Okay, once you do that, uh, we're going to go ahead and open our Finder window, go to Applications, and because we need to get the original .png file, um, because OBS Studio doesn't support cubelets, so we're going to have to convert the uh, original .png file, apply the LUT, and resave it to, uh, to the PNG file that the OBS can open the LUT in. Okay, let's go to OBS Studio, we're going to select that in the application folder, right click, show package contents, and uh, then we're going to go to resources, data, and I believe it's OBS plugins, and then we're going to select the OBS filters, and then finally the LUTs. Okay, this is where they store the LUTs in PNG format for OBS Studio. Um, I think they give you four or five. Now I've added some of my own. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a copy of the original .png uh, because you don't want to change the original file uh, in case you want to use it again for other LUTs. And then once you make a copy, we're going to open that in GIMP Studio. Now remember where this is located because once we're finished with the PNG LUT, we're going to put it back in the same folder and open it up in OBS Studio. And then um, now, I also wanted to say, um, normally tutorials are showing you uh, using Adobe um, Photoshop, and then obviously you gotta pay the monthly fee. I wanted to cheap out and use GIMP. In this case, we're not using exactly GIMP. It's a modified, which is called Mic GIMP, because we need the GMIC plugin to allow us to import the cube file on top of the original .png. So there, I'm not gonna go into where you find it, but you can look uh, where it's located, and this version is the uh, 2.9. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Okay, once we do that, we're gonna open up the PNG file. Uh, original .png, we're gonna open that up, just like so. Once you open that up, we're going to go to Filters, and uh, look here toward the bottom, GMIC QT, and it'll take a minute to open up. Once we get here, um, you're going to go to Film Emulation, which is located right here, and then we're going to go to User Defined. And then here you go to the 
uh, where the LUT uh, that you downloaded or you made from your video editor. In this case, we're going to use Studio Cube. We're going to open that up and then it'll automatically apply it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click OK and it'll save it right there. Okay, once you do that, we're going to go ahead and export it out and uh, export as. Okay, we're going to use, uh, we're going to export this obviously into PNG format. Okay, right here. Uh, click on export. And uh, for compression, we're going to go ahead and select zero and then you would click export and um, we're gonna go, not going to go that far because I'm just showing you I've already have it installed okay once we do that you're gonna have to put in the um, LUT file that you just made in PNG format in this case it was uh, studio.png and put it in exactly the same um, folder I shown you earlier in the OBS studio application so I don't have to really go over it again once you do that we're gonna go ahead and open up OBS studio and there we are and you see my video coming in now I'm a little laggy there okay this is what it looks like directly from the camera and the reason like I said before is um, I have different lighting and it kind of knocks um, out the, the colors are pretty wacky when I um, record it to disk so by applying the LUT I'll be able to record directly from the camera uh, onto my computer and upload it directly um, and I'm going to show you that now so we're going to uh, select our camera source in cases from a Blackmagic Intensity Pro we're going to go ahead and right click that and select filters and uh, we're going to move this over so you can see it a little bit better um, just like so and uh, here where it says uh, effect filters we're going to click on the plus sign apply LUT okay uh, we're going to go to the browse window and It'll automatically open up in OBS Studio where you installed the um, um, the PNG LUT file. In this case, it's studio.png. There you go. And this is the color corrected studio version right here. I'm going to turn it on and off just so you can see. And I'm actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, here's the before and the after corrected image. Okay, before, after, and I also decided to add uh, some more contrast. Um, I didn't put enough contrast just to show you, and as you can see, it, de it definitely gives a greater uh, picture. So this is going to save me a lot of editing time in post edit now of course if there's more in-depth videos that I do where I definitely do need to do video editing it's not going to be as much of a problem but when I do um, talking head videos on news reports it's going to uh, increase my uh, workflow uh, probably about a couple of hundred percent so uh, that's the tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching as always see you guys later